What's happening guys welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video today we are installing a new exhaust on the e92 m3 i'm excited for this one the boys over at valvetronic designs have sent out their e92 m3 full valve exhaust system this is the stainless steel version and i also decided to upgrade to the sport cats so that the 200 cell catalytic converter system for this car it is going to sound super spicy i also wanted to mention you guys you can save five percent off of your next order through valvetronic designs using the link below Sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. All right, we got the E92 in the air. Here's the current exhaust. It's a Meister shaft, rear end, rear section. Sounds pretty good. Definitely can sound a lot better. It's also a pretty old system, as you can tell. But I really like the fact that we're gonna have that adjustability, those beautiful Olins. And I'm so lucky that I have that rear sway bar already done, so we don't need to drop the subframe. However, I will be upgrading the bushings in the rear. So these guys will get replaced with 200 cells, which is gonna be super nice. It's definitely gonna make it a lot louder. And you guys can also see my suspension setup up here. We have the Turner sway bar end links, but these are actually too long. So I ordered some shorter ones from Beamer World that are about 10 and a half. Those should be a lot better. Right now, when the car isn't under load, it can hit the control arm, which obviously isn't good. So we got the Turner control arms, um, Olin's road and track coils, and then the Millway camper plates, and then obviously H&R sways front and rear. It's a pretty good setup. I really like it, not bad at all. And then I have the MLT Designs um, skid plate, which I love this thing. This thing's freaking sick, dude. You guys gotta get that. While we're doing this exhaust install, we're also going to do a quick oil change with some 10W60 Castrol Edge supercar, because I actually haven't done oil in this since my rod bearings, so probably about time. I think we're about three, 4,000 miles in. This car's filthy, man. I daily drive it now, so <laughs> she gets beat up pretty good. But dude, I just love driving this car. It's such a fun, fun, fun car. Two exhausts next to each other. Clearly, current system was <laughs> pretty beat up and old. Looks way nicer. Two resonators. These are much smaller. We're gonna lose a lot of weight with this exhaust too, I can tell. So these resonators are gonna be completely cut out. A lot more volume there and sound. And then our factory OEM cats and our 200 cells. So this is gonna be way louder when it's open. Way louder. guys we just finished up the exhaust portion we haven't done the valve portion but looks really good I actually like the black tips originally I asked for the polished and I think they're still gonna send me a set of the polish they're out of stock right now but the black looks nice I think I'm gonna keep it black so everything is bolted up nice and tight you got to fit how we like it 
looks really good under here all the way up to those sport cats and the finish looks a lot nicer they've done a really good job of updating this design i think they've had this exhaust system for the e92 m3 in production and just reworking it the longest so this has had a lot of just a lot of little adjustments to make it pretty pretty good if not perfect so sort of set it up exactly how i want it looks nice looks really nice very very clean simple finish sort of staggered the tips a little bit follow the, the stock diffuser I'm excited to hear it, man. So easy install, simple exhaust, pretty normal. Looks good. So we ended up using the factory bushings back here, the factory hangers right here. And then we ended up using the Valtronic hangers here in the back. And of course this little cross brace that they supply for you, which is pretty cool. It's got the Valtronic logo on it. And then everything else is adjustable, which makes it really nice because you want to have as, as many adjustable points to sort of level things out make it sit perfectly things might move around on the first drive to heat it up but we're in the ballpark of having it just how i want it really really nice welds look good too look at all the welds look really nice all right so that is it for the exhaust portion or the physical exhaust portion and now we're going to go ahead and wire up the vacuum box this box connects with your remote which opens and closes the valves and but the way that works is you just wire it up to a power source, um, which we will actually splice into and direct wire it up. Oh, they give you two remotes. That's nice. And then uh, we'll hide the box in the back and you connect these vacuum hoses from the box to the two valves, which are right there and right here. And it's pretty much the same setup for every car, every exhaust system that they offer um, using that vacuum system. It's, it's really, really easy and basic, so. All right, so the box, I'm gonna put it right down there. I don't have anything in there, yeah. so. Use a little bit of Velcro to keep it in. Nice and tight, you can also put it literally right there if you wanted to. All right, just finished up the vacuum. We've got the T section in the middle, coming from that valve, going to that valve, and then it tucks up on top of the heat shielding and into the car. At home, I have some really strong Velcro and I'm gonna end up using the Velcro in the rear section to mount the box like that. For now, I'm just gonna put a little 3M on there and stick it to here until I get home later. It'll be like that. And then we have a little hole in the tray right here with a rubber grommet so no water gets through. And then we'll trim up the line so it's nice and tight and we'll be good. Then we gotta run power, running power to the fuse box tap into the fuse box and um, yeah, start testing. All right, everything is tapped in. The remote in the hand. Ooh, open it. So that is gonna make our lives a lot easier. And what I'm gonna do next, I'm actually going to connect this to my home link buttons under my mirror. So the first button will be close, second will be open. sounds really good. <laughs> that sounds really good. So good.
This car sounds so good. <laughs> I'm in love with this new setup. It's the perfect combination of loud and quiet. I was pulling up to my house last night pretty late and I didn't want to wake the neighbors obviously, so hit that valve and it's just dead silent. It's quieter than stock when you close the actual valves. It's, it's perfect. It's perfect if you're looking for a very calm, quiet system for daily driving and then also the rowdy side for when you just feel like having a little bit of fun. It's really the best of both worlds. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Huge shout out to the guys over at Valvetronic. I am super, super satisfied with this exhaust system. 10 out of 10 would recommend. They also have the titanium system, but I feel like titanium typically has a bit more of like a tinny tone to it. And I really wanted this tone to have a bit more body for that S65. And this, in my opinion, this setup is just flawless. I also actually really like the black tips. I think those turned out really good. And I think that we nailed the fitment. It's like super even with the diffuser. It looks really nice. It's not hanging too low or anything. It's very even. Also looks really cool from behind the car and underneath. So remember, if you guys want to save 5% on any Valvetronic design exhaust systems, I'll have a link down in the description. Hit that link. Save yourself some cash but as always i appreciate you guys watching the video i'll see you in the next one